Hi, I'm John Connell. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm joined today by the actor and model, Jazz v. Shaw. Hey, Jazz, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. It's great to see okay. you. You look it's lovely, you. and I'm, I'm very happy to have you with us. I'm really looking forward, Jazz, to sharing uh, with our audience, you know, some of the beautiful work that you do. And so this content is available on uh, Jazz's YouTube channel, and, and I will look forward to uh, sharing it now, if it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, let's everyone tune in to Jazz v. Shaw. Well, Jazz, you are lovely, and it's wonderful to see you in action and some of your work. Um, I wonder whether or not you might tell me where you're from and, and give me some insight about your journey as an artist. How did you become a model and an actor? So first of all, yeah, I was born here in London. My parents are obviously, wow. yeah, my parents are also like mixed race as well. So they come from different continents of the world. So obviously when I'm in UK, yes, I can say I'm British Asian, but sometimes I also classify myself as mixed race. See what I mean? Because yeah. there's a lot of heritage there. So there's that. <laughs> How I um, started off as an actor and model. I think I look up to an idol since I was a kid, which is Priyanka Chopra. She's most famous for being married to Nick Jonas um, mm -hmm. at the moment. And also she's been in a lot of TV and film um stuff too for example like Baywatch, Quantico, um, a lot of Bollywood, a lot of Hollywood um, insights as well and it's great so like I've been looking forward to her the whole time and obviously when I started off acting and modeling I'd say acting would have been started sometime during my education so when obviously I was in high school and everything yes I was doing other subjects as well like I normally would but I was more focused on the acting side of it because every single time I see her, like Priyanka, like do the dance and do the acts and do the di different things. I don't know, it just seems, it just seems great. And when she plays a villain, like it's the best part for me because um, I did a production uh, called Ash Girl back in high school as well as part of my GCSE. Mm -hmm. And obviously I was both a, villain as well as playing a prince or something like that so i was doing a duo and um i'd say instead of playing the prince i'd most likely find it better to play the villain it's just the way i played it it was more like of how she plays it. it's like different interpretations of it as well so i guess what i'm trying to say is from there when i went to college when i went to university i focused more on the performing arts sector i didn't just focus on acting straight as a performing art, so it broadens my horizon. For example, dance, uh, acting, theatre, all sorts of things. So I get the knowledge of different things. And obviously when I go out for things myself, for jobs, I can say I've done this previously in the past as well. So it kind of gives me a little uplift. Um, bear in mind, I do have like also a nerdy part back of my head, which is like the, the IT department, for example, like computering and that. So when I do get technical, I do get technical, you see what I mean? Like, Certainly in that deal, that's, yeah. uh -huh. that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously it's th that's how I started and I continue to do so, so. Love it. You know, yeah. it's cool. I, I like the fact that you also mentioned that you, you know, look up to and model a mentor and, you know, watch their kind of expressions and then they kind of, um, be, you know, you adopt them and then make them your own. So I like the idea of you playing roles that are um, villains and, you know, that yeah. sinister character, because what I, and I'll tell you why I like it is because, you know, you, 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 you give off this great femininity and this beauty and softness to your aura, but I can see also that you would enjoy being that sinister character, the villain. Of yes. <laughs> I do, I do, because I yeah. I absolutely love it because I watch horror myself. I play uh -huh. horror games myself, and I just love it. I just tend to laugh about these things because I don't take it as like seriously as I would for, for example, a documentary or like 
some sort of like serious situation, whether it's in the news or whatsoever. Do you see what I mean? Yes, Horror, I, I kind of understand the concept of, whereas like, let's say if they're using blood, it's actually ketchup or it's some next thing you know, that they're using as part of the goal. But um, don't get me wrong, I look up to so many actors. Like if I would see anyone on the streets, for example, if it's a major star like Leonardo or Brad Pitt, I'd be like, oh, great, hey. But specifically, I just look up to Priyanka because she, she's such a good person. I don't understand. Like she not only does the acting and the modeling and everything, she also supports so many charities as many other actors do too. But I kind of support the ones that she's also doing. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like understandable and the fact that we have a lot in common for example she loves animals I love animals like there's there's a lot of things and obviously if I was to meet her in person I'd be like listen like you've been there since I was a kid even through my tough times so it's like it's it's, it's weird but it kind of helps so no it def mean? definitely does and it's great to model after someone we really respect and admire and just so you know it's those people who, that we respect and admire for whatever traits they may be are mirrors of the traits that are actually within you and that you yeah. know, are, are emerging. And so um, that I think is kind of a beautiful dynamic um, for you know, because you're not really aspiring to be them. You're aspiring to be you with the qualities that you both have. So, and I also yeah. love the fact that you are, are respectful and admire um, the work they do outside of their craft in helping others. Of yeah, it's I do the same as well. Like yeah. I absolutely do the same as well. Like all of mostly the funds that I make for any anything I do goes for charities or let's say homeless people on the streets. It goes towards that because um, even my family as well, but I feel like I'm in a comfortable position whereas not many people are around the world. So right. I try and do as much as I can for people and also animals because I mean, animals were here before us as well. So it's like, this is, there's a lot of things that I do. And in terms of modeling, like, because I didn't mention how I started for that, um, it kind of relates with acting because modeling kind of goes into a lot of things, for example, TV and film itself as well, or commercial wow. and high street. So it kind of connects, which is why I said, okay, let me connect this with acting and just go out there more, if you see what I mean. And it kind of helps because you know yeah. that you've got this experience here and other experiences there. So... Yeah, you know, I, I you know what I like about you, Jazz, is that you have a humility, um, but you also have great talent and energy, and so and and you. I really feel like you know you're at the beginning of a trajectory that is, um, that it will realize itself just through your hard work and dedication, and and all the people that will be blessed around you, um, that you know that you engage in and with. It's, yeah, it's really admirable. I, I want you to know. Um, so I think that what we'll do is we'll will share also your journey with the viewers who are watching and encourage them. I want everyone to tune in to Jazz's social media channels. You can find them below our interview today. And, um, and let's, let's say thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. It's really nice to have your voice that's coming from the other side of the world. I'm actually out in California. Um, oh, wow. I've yeah. been there. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do travel, so I do tend to just go anywhere or everywhere that it takes me. So it's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. And, you know, and, and I'm just so thankful and um, I'm just so confident as well in you, Jazz. You know, thanks for being part of our program today. And we'll look forward to having you on Phoenix 360. Tune in to Jazz's social media channels below. And, uh, and thanks so much. You take good care. You too. Thank you.